welcome to my channel. Today is Art Journal Day and if you watched my previous video you would have seen me make this sketch using the elegant marker pen. Well today I'm going to use the Tombow calligraphy pen, the brush tip pen, and I'm going to do some calligraphy to go with the original sketch and then I'm going to bring in the elegant marker to create the frame. So I have copied this onto the page using a graphite pencil and when I copied it I realized that I had this I had started to travel up the page so I brought in my ruler and drew some ruled lines and I'm going to correct that as I go. At the moment it looks very much as though the second and the fourth line are travelling up the page but I'm just going to correct that. And the beauty of doing this in graphite first really means that you can fit all the words in the way you want them to fit so that they are aligned and looking straight. Now my calligraphy is not fabulous but it is certainly improved on where I've started and if you've been following me you'll know that I'm struggling a little bit with my handwriting but I was pretty happy with how this turned out. Now I do apologize for my shadow there I'm doing this quite late at night so the lighting is not terrific and I was standing up at this point so that I would make sure to get that straight. But you can see how just putting in a really nice verse in your art journal is something that is inspiring. I really like this verse that I've put in. This is a quote from Coco Chanel and I thought it really was appropriate for the portrait of the girl that I've drawn on the right hand side. It just seemed to go with that page. Now the Tombow Jewel Tip Market is good for this kind of journaling and I'm using the smaller tip. There is a brush tip and a fine tip. This is the fine tip that I'm using. So you can see how I've had to really correct that upward slant. So I've got a kneadable eraser and I'm just going to very gently erase all the lines so that I don't smudge any of it. And once the lines are all gone, it does look much better because you can't see that upward slant that I had going with the graphite. So this is in my art journal that I made on watercolour paper. And this is the saying now, beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. Here's the elegant marker and I'm going to draw a really simple frame around it. This is what the Elegant Marker looks like in its case and I purchased mine from Amazon. It was only a couple of dollars. Now I have my water brushes ready and all I'm really going to do, and I will stand up to do this so excuse my shadow, is four squiggly lines. That's it. That's all I'm going to do with the Elegant Marker and then the magic happens once you add the water to it. So what I'm doing is creating a background that matches the right hand page exactly. So I'm just bringing in a filbert brush and using a very loose wash. And as I do the wash, you'll notice that it is starting to activate all the colors within that black marker. So this is integrating the left page and the right page so that they look like they're meant to be together. Double page spread as you would say if you're a scrapbooker. And I have gone a little bit close to that Y on the word U there and it is starting to bleed out a little bit but I'll correct that with my trusty white gel pen. So I'll just grab that and have that at the ready. Just do a little bit more final blending till I'm happy with the result. And you can see as I blot with the paper towel that that luscious hot pink starts to show through in the background. So you end up with lots of different colours. You end up with a pale blue green, a vivid blue green, a hot pink and the black. And I'm just going to dab away at that with the white gel pen and I've sorted that out. There we go, all done, all sorted. So you can see close up the colours starting to come out of that. It just looks really, really pretty and I'm happy with this. I really like it. 
It's one of my favourite art journal pages so far, this double page spread. So I hope you enjoyed today's project. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up and leave me a comment. And share this with your friends. Have a wonderful day. Bye.